the beautiful sounds of Scotland. That's that's next on our stop, guys, on the virtual tour around the world. We're off to Scotland. Are you excited? I am. Um, that's not what bagpipes should sound like. I do apologize to all the Scots out there. That was uh, a little toy, a little, a little, a little token, but, but not the real deal. All right. Thanks for joining me again, Kyle Spreedies, and we are going to show you some of the photos from Scotland. Still going through the hard drive archives and still getting out the best moments, the best pictures, and you know some really special, special trips that I had. I just think it's such a really nice thing to share those moments and you know have you guys along for the ride. Now, before we go to Scotland, make sure we pack our gloves. It is bloody cold over there. So we've got those. We've also got a scarf. Okay. We're pretty, we're pretty much ready. And waiting for us is a little brown drink when we get there. Here we go, guys. Heading into Scotland. And there she is. The beautiful mountains of Scotland. Now, I went with family for this trip. And we were going to kind of uncover um the ross clan area of scotland my you probably wouldn't it doesn't look like it with this uh big greek complexion complexion the big greek nose and the uh the dark greek looks it's uh I look as greek as they come but i actually do have scottish, uh, scottish heritage my mother's father is scottish and has got scottish down the line so that's where my middle name comes from ross and we you know my mother wanted to go to the ross area because you know, you get your names from different areas in the north, um, northern areas of um, the north part of Scotland. So we ventured up there and we went and stayed in the castle and we, um, you know, went into a few Scottish things. We had haggis. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I prefer, I think it's a black sausage. But uh, anyway, I'll continue to take you through here. These are some of the pictures. And look at this one. This car skidded off the road because of all the snow. Look at that. It was just, yeah. It's, uh, we, we were lucky enough to have a, uh, a driver there. Um, and that, that definitely helped because, yeah, it's very, very scary driving in those sorts of landscapes, especially when you're from Australia and everything is dry and dandy. Yeah, in Scotland, it's snowy and sleety. Um, so here we go. We'll keep going along, guys. And um, I'll show you some more of the photographs. Now... This was the castle we stayed at. Look at that. That doesn't say Scotland. I don't know what does. Beautiful chess, you know, pieces out the front. Bit of Harry Potter re reminiscence. There's my brother, as always. Look at him. Beautiful. And look at this. Very interesting. This looks like one sheep. It looks like... <laughs> I'm sorry to these sheep, but it looks like one mutated sheep. You got one head going one way, one head going the other way. I don't know what's going on. Anyway... That's the sort of moments you capture. Things come into alignment in the right time and you just get some, some funky shots. And there's the beautiful castle, beautiful Greenlands, um, lush, lush part of the world. You know, you get so much water, um, you know, you get so much rain and obviously it's going to be very, very lush. And look at that decor. Beautiful. Imagine going there every day for lunch. And your view is that snowy, snowy mountains. Yeah, stunning. And of course... Whiskey. <laughs> what better invention did the Scots come up with than whiskey? My friend um, Adam uh, was so so generous to give me a give me a glass of whiskey while I, I take you on this, this this ride. He's also a fellow Scotsman, so he understands and appreciates the uh, the whiskey side of, sides of life. So, cheers, Adam, and cheers to the Scots. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Although I don't drink a lot these days. I did have a few drinks back then and um, it does come out uh, in one of the moments you'll see. You won't see me you know, vomiting or anything crazy like that, but I, I didn't remember something I did on this trip. We'll continue. So there's a beautiful lake, beautiful snow. Look at that stunning, stunning, lovely, lovely part of the world. Beautiful sheep everywhere. And we'll keep going. There's my brother playing some Scrabble, some puzzle pieces. The little intellect he was and is. And there we go. Keep going through. Just stunning. And there we had the eagles. So this guy, um, you'll see in a minute, he's showing us where not to land the eagle. You don't want it. <laughs> he's not showing you that. But yeah, he, he, um, he let us play with the owls and the eagles. And it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. 
the outdoor activities they had was, yeah, you can have a lot of fun over there. And look at that beautiful eagle. Wow, look at that. The yellow beak just stands out, you know, against the white, the contrasts again. And there's the sheepdog. Look at him go. He's barking. He's barking. He's rounding them up. And look at them. They're single file. They're in formation. They know what they've got to do. They know their job. And look at that cute dog. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Scrumptious. Uh, and there, there we go. So this, I was looking through some of the photos and I was going, wow, what's this? You know, you know, they went shooting. They went and, you know, shot those plates in the sky. What's going on here? And... <laughs> It was so bad of me. I didn't realize. Um, I thought they went out without me, but then I kept going through some of the photos and I'm there with them. So, <laughs> so I might have had a few too many of the good scotches the night before. But um, yeah, we went out and apparently, apparently we went and shot these, uh, these plates in the sky, which was another fun, fun activity you can do in Scotland. There's my brother. Look at him. <laughs> Pimping out. Pimp slides. Look at this guy. What is his attire? Oh, he gets paid out in every video. I'm oh, sorry, bro. Here we go. Look at the guy. Look at the guy grabbing the gun off me. It's, it looks a bit intense. It's kind of like, it's enough. It's enough. Put the shotgun down. Oh, that was a lot of fun. And you obviously have to have those things around your ears because it bang so loud. There's my brother going off. Bang. Smashing the plates. And of course, Loch Ness. You can't go to Scotland without trying to find the old, the old Loch Ness, the old Loch Ness monster. I'll be honest with you guys, I did not see him, um, but it doesn't mean I won't give up the search. I'll be keep looking for you. I'll find you, Loch Ness. I will one day. Um, no, but it's very interesting. You know the whole the history behind it, the the spottings. You know you've got people that you know, created crafts to go through the lake. Um, you know one of the deepest lakes in the world, um, trying to find this you know this Loch Ness monster. Very interesting. Adds a lot of character, and you know that's the culture that you that you get. You know, in those places, it just adds a lot more to it, which is the beautiful thing about traveling. You know, and here's these sheep now, beautiful Scottish back, you know backdrop, but look at the blue um, painting on the sheep. This is quite interesting. What that blue um, signifies is that those sheep, it's for for the farmers to mark that those sheep have been impregnated. So. Once the sheep have been impregnated, they need to separate them from the rest of the ram. The rest of the rams. Sorry, it's an emotional story of life. <laughs> I'm croaking up a bit here. <laughs> they need to separate them from the rest of the rams, so you know, um, so they can be separate and you know, give birth and safely and all that sort of stuff. So that's why they got the little blue painted bums. Look at them there, all looking over. And look at that, the beautiful historical, you know. I love history and I love the sort of artistic structures, you know, that you find just incredible. Lots of religious, you know, religious sort of um, influence, but yeah, which is beautiful. And yeah, look at that. Just beautiful. But not the Celtics, but, you know, it's the, uh, the, old, the old folk that lived there many, many, many years ago. And they keep going. Look at that. Beautiful part of the world. Absolutely. You are absolutely nowhere if you're there. Which can be nice, you know. You're just you're out of out of touch from the the busy goings on in the world, and it's really really a treasure. Look at these Look at those mountains. Yeah, I got a really strong feeling when I was in Scotland. Um, I don't know if it's my forefathers are there. I don't know. You know, I've been washed out with so much Greek in me that I that I don't know if that's the case. But it's a beautiful beautiful place. You know, the the mountains, the hills, the landscape. It's just got. It's obviously got that rough sort of nature, but it's just got so much soul to it. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful part of the world. All right, here we go. We're nearly finishing up, guys. Don't worry, not too long. Just in a little short while, you can have a whiskey to yourself. Oh, the Scots do it good. All right, we keep going through, and we we're able to um, lead the sheep. So one of the cool things uh, in this area we were staying, we were able to, they said, we want you to kind of lead the sheep from this farm over to this area. And so you get to get involved, you know, you get to be interactive in, in the sort of goings on in those sorts of days and what, what they get involved in uh, living up there. So that was pretty cool. And this castle, I'm pretty sure I heard a rumor. I think one of the tour guides was either telling a fib or it was true, but apparently the famous 
MJ, he, 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 apparently he, he stayed in this castle. So I thought that was pretty cool. Far away from America, but he, um, he stayed in this castle for a little while. What you can do when you're, uh, you know, rich and famous and eccentric as well. Yeah. And there we go, guys. That is the Scottish, the Scottish experience. I thought, you know, during this time, during 2020, I thought it'd be nice to kind of take you guys around the world, see different spots, different places, go through the hard drives, go through the archives and just pull out some of those moments and just share it with you. And yeah, Scotland's very a place that's very dear to my heart and that, that journey was a real, real treat. Um, I'd love to hear from you if you've ever been to Scotland, uh, you know, if you, what clan you're from, you know, McDonald clan or, you know, I can't pronounce half the others, but you'll have to, you have to write in the comments. But yeah, let me know. Give me, give us a like, a share, and and you know, let me know what you think, and we'll keep going on around the world, guys. Thanks for joining me. Cheers.